use this for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Right. Uh, I just had a white uh, custom Strat body on it at that time. At that time? Oh, okay. That's why yeah. I didn't recognize it from that. But, no, the song you played, Crazy On You, right? Take me back in time with that. Now, I, I don't... I don't know the details behind how the song was completely written, but you co-wrote it, right? The guitar lick that comes in, who invented that? This was a real great time of heart. I had gotten together with Nancy when I was living with Ed Myronick, learning how to build guitars. And she finally broke down and, and decided she's going to get together with Raj. So we got together, and it was just so magical, so wonderful. It was, it was a time of uh, real self-introspection for me because I'm now with this girl who is unlike any girl I've ever been with before, and she was beautiful, real intelligent, uh, spiritual, and challenging. Anne was with Mike, and I was with Nance, and we were all living in this A-frame cabin on... Point Roberts, which is a little tip of land that extends south of the 49th parallel uh, into the United States territory. So it's actually in the United States, but it's separated by land. Uh, you have to go through Canada to get there. There's the four of us living in our, our A-frame little, uh, little heaven there. And one day uh, the girls were horsing around with this this guitar idea that was fashioned after a moody blues song, and it went, and they're going like that. Where could this? And they're, they're doing all this stuff. She's, she's doing this galloping thing like that. And so then they, they had their song idea, and they're working on it, and the words are coming, and, and uh, I happened to walk into the room, and, and uh, Ann said, hey, Raj, what, what guitar what guitar part would you put on this? And so I listened to it, and I heard... Yeah. So I played that for them, and they said, Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so that's how my inclusion of the songwriting was made to that song. The definition of a songwriter's royalty is one who uh, comes up with the melody and or lyrics. But, of course you can't uh, copyright chord progressions, you know, otherwise there would be, after a while there wouldn't be anything you could play. But a an important key element of a song that is a signature that when you hear that, you know that that's that song, that's copyrightable. Because it, it's a melody that has the strength to be a key element. Howard said, you know, Rod should get royalties for that da 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 da. And if he hadn't said that, I probably wouldn't ever have gotten co writer's uh, status with that song. So thank you, Howard. <laughs> That's how that song was born. Nice, nice. Yeah, and it, it's, uh, oh, those lyrics. I was a willow last night in my dream. I bent down over a clear running stream. I sang you this song that I heard up above and you kept me alive with your sweet flow and love. God, that's some of the best lyrics in rock and roll for sure. Yeah. 